I uh, will uh, speak uh, on some new uh, Taylor BKAR uh, formulas. <coughs> Uh, 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 then I uh, will uh, uh, give uh, the floor to uh, Leonard Ferdinand. And uh, 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 first, uh, one slide of uh, introduction. Uh, uh, tensorial quantum field uh, theories uh, are uh, uh, multi uh, They are a promising way to study uh, random geometries with the weight uh, corresponding to some discretization of Einstein Hibbert action. The ultimate uh, goal uh, being uh, to counter gravity, uh, it's uh, a lofty goal. <laughs> uh, uh, I am uh, interested this uh, year uh, into uh, uh, regularity structures. Uh, the error theory. And uh, uh, it is based on a suitable generalization of a Taylor formula uh, for uh, distribution. Uh, and um, uh, error uh, uh, himself uh, had said so. It is uh, uh, highly regarded uh, in the domain of uh, quantum field theory uh, and uh, uh, normalization. Uh, 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 it is uh, based on uh, stochastic uh, quantization. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with foot, it might be a seat to. Uh, uh, right uh, uh, to offer a suitable generalization of the BKAR formula uh, into a Taylor BKAR formula. But uh, uh, first, I uh, will remind you uh, what is the BKAR formula. And uh, 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 left f be a smooth uh, function of a several uh, variable uh, that uh, 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 has been expressed uh, uh, by le, the letter uh, uh, y, uh, x. And the forest formula is a uh, uh, state uh, 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 f of 1 equal uh, a sum of uh, all forest of uh, n vector, uh, vertices. The weak uh, quickening parameter uh, x uh, uh, is uh, the crux of uh, the formula. It is uh, zero if uh, uh, i and j don't belong to the same connective, co uh, connective component of f. Otherwise, it is the minimum of uh, the w for l uh, from running over the unique path of uh, from i to j in f. Furthermore, the real symmetric matrix uh, uh, x uh, of the w uh, completed by one on the diagonal uh, i equal j is positive. 
aan uh, is die ze ze kroeks ze vaar vaar kroeks of ze formula uh, yes. Uh, let us uh, go to the proof of uh, this formula. Um, the set uh, uh, of positive and diamond matrices with one of uh, on the, diag uh, the diagonal uh, 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 of diagonal entries between zero and one is convex. We order uh, the parameter and um, uh, into uh, uh, the X sector, uh, X -hep sector uh, comes from quantum uh, field uh, theory. Uh, 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 vocabulary uh, um, and x of the w is a, uh, a block matrix uh, um, uh, 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 some of uh, uh, according to these orders of uh, uh, block matrices. This complex combination, uh, of course, depends on the ordering of the W. Uh, now, uh, let us come to uh, the application uh, of quantum field theory. Uh, the application was uh, uh, called uh, in a, a <coughs> classical uh, constructive theory uh, in uh, Wattman and Klim Safis, Tom Spencer, and uh, 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 were called constructive field theory. And um, classical constructive field theory uh, consists of uh, two uh, separate expansion, uh, the cluster expansion and the Meyer expansion. The, the cluster expansion, uh, 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 it can be captured in dimension uh, d equal to zero. <laughs> By the formula, uh, the form, uh, following formula, uh, f uh, equal the partition function is one plus h. Eight <laughs> h uh, uh, h uh, is, uh, you see the formula, uh, it begins uh, with lambda and uh, uh, it is uh, 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 x4 uh, and an exponential uh, <laughs> You see, uh, in dimension zero, uh, 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 the simplest form. And Meyer expansion, uh, it's, uh, 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 there is um, um, uh, 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 a complicated formula um, uh, for uh, it uh, it is f equal 
1 plus 8 is uh, eight, uh, a complicated uh, formula uh, because epsilon is zero. And uh, you see that uh, 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 um, uh, 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 you see that uh, a complicated way of defining zero. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why the expansion starts with fourth term? Why x4 but not x2? X one here, uh, here, uh, here. Yeah. Uh, 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 Potential is okay, but the, the pre-exponential term. Uh, 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 the cluster expansion of uh, the of uh, the, uh, the Meyer expansion. This is a fight for theory. Oh, ah, oui. And it, is, and it gets done when the thing is This is uh, for uh, the simplest uh, form of uh, uh, quantum field theory, the 5-4. Mm. If it would be not 5-4, it will be... Oui, uh, oui. Uh, uh, c c c uh, yeah. Actually, cluster expansion is also very, very easy in That's why we present it in zero dimension, with 5 Wait. Uh, 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 let us uh, define eta i and g equals minus one. Uh, it, uh, epsilon i g is equal zero, and uh, eta uh, my, uh, 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 f uh, can be written one plus eta. <laughs> and uh, apply the forest formula. Uh, you uh, see uh, uh, le, the uh, partition function is equal to that. Uh, and um, uh, 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 mm, you see that term one plus eta uh, uh, x uh, 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 depending on w. The logarithm of the first formula is simply a three beta r formula. Then uh, defining uh, G equal log of uh, F, uh, G is uh, the formula, uh, following formula. It's simply a sum of three versus a sum of forests. <coughs> and um, the convergence is easy because it's I, uh, it's I contains a different copy of the functional integration. And uh, the formula uh, one uh, plus uh, eta, uh, etc., uh, is bounded by one. But um, uh, here, uh, the replica field uh, enters um, uh, for the Spartan. Borel term ability now easily follows from the Borel term ability of H. It's generalized 
this well to the case of uh, lattice uh, stereotypical mechanics uh, in the case of uh, d equal uh, uh, less grifter uh, than zero. However, the link of thermal graphs is so somewhat lost. And first of all, it may be not optimal for curves on or random space uh, times geometry. Uh, uh, là, je passe uh, so, so transparent uh, là. Uh, well. uh, and uh, 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 I continue with the loop vertex expansion. Um, uh, it is based on intermediate field representation. And it is based on the uh, new version of the uh, replicate symmetry. The, at, uh, let us apply the Forest formula, but using replicas of the intermediate field. Uh, and uh, on the functional integration uh, uh, and um, uh, let's just uh, replica feel uh, 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 in the propagator, uh, propagator of uh, 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 you see uh, uh, on the propagator it depends on I and J, where one, uh, it, the one uh, an, uh, 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 matrix with entries one is everywhere. Um, uh, the formula uh, of uh, the partition function is uh, equal to that and uh, log of uh, the partition function equal uh, to that. It is again a sum of trees uh, versus uh, uh, a sum of forest is uh, equal to the, the formula for partition function. Uh, advantages, um, uh, one can picture uh, the result as the sum of trees uh, on loops of uh, Cartier. Uh, since uh, the formula is bounded uh, by one uh, convergent is easy. Borat mobility remains easy. Uh, Link of Feynman graphs uh, can be recovered, and it's open to uh, some uh, 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 renormalization. Uh, the conclusion is that uh, the LVE should be better adapted for uh, general background geometries such as uh, the curve geometries, random geometries, uh, uh, non-computative geometries, and short to quantum gravity and uh, uh, to uh, the branch of uh, quantum theory uh, gravity that I uh, have been uh, pursued 
uh, for uh, uh, now uh, 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 10 of, uh, or uh, f uh, 12 uh, uh, years. <coughs> the tensor theory. And <coughs> now uh, I uh, will uh, uh, <coughs> pass uh, 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 the floor uh, uh, to uh, some younger uh, uh, guy, uh, Leonard Ferdinand, uh, 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 since you are almost exhausted uh, by um, uh, my um, uh, flow of voice. So, um, what we've done um, until now was a zero dimensional uh, constructive quantum field theory, but uh, in, tr in the true life, there are also um, divergences because you study quantum field theory in uh, dimension uh, greater or equal to two. And uh, so uh, when you perform constructive field theory, you need to cure uh, these divergences. And that's why uh, we do two, uh, actually two cluster expansion. One that separates uh, space um, time uh, regions, uh, crea creating uh, clusters, uh, and one that separates uh, slices of energy. And uh, you know that um, Clusters that have uh, less than a certain number of uh, external points and that are uh, uh, local, that is to say of high energy, uh, can be divergent. And uh, we want to separate them when performing this expansion um, so that they can be bounded um, apart from uh, the convergent terms. That's why we thought it would be interesting to um, be able to perform both Taylor expansion in order to, to create more links uh, between um, slices, uh, and in particular between high and low slices, and uh, to select the slices in a way that is also constructive, that is to say of some of a forest, uh, not of uh, too many graphs that uh, would make the sum diverge. Um, that's why we want to be able to perform a further expansion um, when doing a Becker forest formula. Um, the notations are the same, one still denotes x, i, j, the line variables, and uh, we still consider a function of uh, such uh, line variables, and we denote uh, t, uh, the Taylor expansion of one function. Um, if the function uh, is a function of some uh, matrix variables, um, it's going to be written like this because we are considering functions of uh, only the superior uh, diagonal coefficients. That is to say, there are um, only the sum runs um, for j uh, inferior to k, and this is the usual Taylor expansion. And uh, when combining this to the Taylor uh, to the Bicaya usual formula, one obtains a such uh, formula. Um, the importance about it it is that it's still uh, runs over all the forests on uh, n minus one uh, vertices. Um, and um, that um, we still uh, evaluate the, the function uh, at the point uh, x, um, x in the former matrix that, as we said, uh, is symmetric and uh, positive. And the fact that it's still positive is very important because um, we want to, to keep track of the positivity of uh, our interaction to then be able to, to have some bounds uh, on it and to dominate other uh, contribution, uh, contributions thanks to this positivity. Um, the Taylor expansion goes to another matrix um, that is uh, x uh, when you, and x is uh, different to zero, but on the, in the links that are between the different uh, connected components, it's equal to the minimum of the parameters. And this is because it's it what appears when you expand uh, another term. I'm going to, to explain this. Um, and um, in these uh, expansions, because we have uh, Taylor expansions, we have Taylor reminders, and they depend on the parameters. And so uh, um, the parameters are ordered. Um, 
And therefore, um, these evaluations, they depend on where uh, you are in the, in, in the sector of integration because it changes the order of the, of the parameters. What? Sorry. Little p. Ah, p. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, I forgot to say this. So now we are going to um, to mix uh, Becker formula with Taylor expansion of order p. So before p was actually zero. Ah, I see. So you did some. You just choose some p. Uh, yeah. I, I've I've forgotten to say this, but there are two parameters. Uh, n is the number of um, of slices, for instance, of of space uh, time cells, and P is the order of uh, Taylor expansion. Yeah. Well, so this formula, um, it's OK. It boils down to the classical uh, forest when P goes to 0. And it also reduces to the Taylor Lagrange expansion with the uh, integral remainder when L is equal to 2. Uh, N is equal to 2 is only one parameter, uh, N1 to x, x1, uh, 2. Um, and um, as I was saying, um, we, we still evaluate the function at a matrix that is uh, positive, so we can keep track of the positivity of the interaction. Um, but um, this formula has a drawback um, that uh, we can't prevent. It is that uh, it no longer factorizes um, over the different connected components. Actually, the, one of the interests of the formula, uh, the classical Becker formula, is that you have a sum of a forest, and for one forest, the contribution of the forest is a product of uh, some contributions of the trees that uh, compose the forest. And now it lost. It's lost because uh, even in the contribution corresponding, for instance, for uh, n is equal to 2, it's classical. Uh, Taylor expansion. Um, the, what we call the contribution of the empty forest, that is to say two vertices uh, alone, uh, we have uh, many, many contributions that uh, correspond to, to some, actually to some graphs uh, with links uh, between these two vertices and so it does not factor. Um, and this is something we, we, we can't prevent. Um, well, now I'm going to say um, in the remaining time a uh, few words about the proof. Um, well, um, to interpolate, we, we define a certain, certain set of matrices, uh, which we call W, and, and that also are, are going to be able to, to depend on, uh, on a forest and going to be equal to, to X of the forest when it's not zero and there is an, uh, another parameter t otherwise. Um, in, in a way that uh, if you evaluate f at uh, w of the parameters n t, and if you derive uh, with respect to t, you create a sum of uh, the edges, but not every edges, only the edges that are such that uh, the graph remains f rest uh, if, you, if you add the edge to f. So, E does not belong to F, and E does not uh, create a cycle uh, when, you, when you add it to F. Um, and this is what uh, will create the sum of a forest then. Um, and we apply to this uh, function evaluated at uh, W, not uh, only a single exp expansion, but a Taylor expansion of other P. Um, and it creates uh, this long sum, but yet it's still a Taylor expansion. Um, and now, uh, to demonstrate this uh, taylor becker formula, one applies iteratively the previous formula to uh, f of 1, and that is the, the matrix with only ones. Um, and uh, you notice that uh, this uh, matrix is actually um, the W matrix uh, corresponding to the empty forest on uh, n uh, vertices. Um, and uh, you, you give the good names to, to the identity and uh, into the matrix with only ones, and uh, you per can perform a Taylor expansion as before, and one obtains uh, this, and here there is the germ of, um, of, um, of the sum of a forest. Actually, um, as you go to other p, you have um, p plus one derivatives here, and you take one of these uh, p plus one derivatives, and you give it another name, and it's going to be the first edge of the forest. 
the remaining edges are um, the many, many edges that uh, uh, contribute to the big sum in the formula and actually that uh, prevent the, the formula from, from factorizing over connected components. Um, we can now interpolate and this uh, matrix, we set it to actually be the matrix corresponding to the forest uh, over one edge, evaluated at, uh, of course, the, the parameter corresponding to the link uh, of the edge. Um, and then we iterate uh, Taylor expansion, that is to say, we keep uh, developing uh, the matrix that is inside uh, F, and we use the same uh, interpolation row. Finally, uh, n minus one successive Taylor expansion lead to um, the this formula when we've been expanding, expanding, and selecting edges to to be a forest and leaving all uh, the remaining uh, edges uh, and couplings uh, together, and we obtain this formula, which is actually quite uh, the same, but um, the sum is still over ordered forests because uh, the parameter of the um, of the following uh, edge depend on the it must be inferior or equal to the parameter of the previous edge. And so we need to, to grab together all the contributions that correspond to one same forest. And there are uh, factorial that the number of edges uh, of the forest uh, or number of sectors uh, such contributions. So we grab them together uh, in a way that uh, all these uh, parameters not go, um, go between uh, the zero and one. And then we we obtained the, the from we wanted to to prove. Well, to conclude, um, this um, we we've presented a new formula mixing Taylor expansion and Becquerel forest formula. But uh, the important about it is um, that we we want to to use it in the context of a constructive quantum field theory, and we and we expect it to be useful to construct some uh, non-local uh, quantum field theories of matricial and tensorial type in the just renormalizable case. Um, for instance, uh, we give some name. Um, the gross level canard uh, theory is a matricial uh, theory, and it's uh, asymptotically safe in the ultraviolet uh, regime. And um, the T54 theory is a tensorial uh, theory with quartic interaction in dimension 5. And it is for, for us very, very interesting because it's um, asymptoti asymptotically free in the, in the UV and uh, renormalizable. And we, we expect to be able to, to construct it thanks to um, this kind of formulas um, and expansion um, that will enable us to, to see pair uh, diverging and converging uh, parts and, and to bond them uh, separately. Um, at least uh, we, we hope that uh, the lack of factorization over the connected components could be overcome thanks to um, some sort of Meyer expansion. Because actually, um, before in the, in the pre presentation of the classical uh, constructive tools, um, what was in the second expansion called Meyer uh, doing was to, um, first when you perform cluster expansion, you obtain um, a sum of um, clusters, um, sp space-time clusters, and these clusters m must be separating, non-overlapping. And then uh, Meyer Spensen um, creates a link between them, makes them overlap, so the contributions uh, actually factorize. And therefore, we, we expect the similar procedure to be to be possible. That's it. Well, thank you for. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. questions? Yeah, um, asymptotic, asymptotic uh, safety means that um, the coupling constant is bounded um, all over the renormalization group flow. And actually, it's something that is uh, very general from, for matrix, uh, matrix theories, because um, you know, at uh, loop order, uh, what contributes to the running of the coupling constants is uh, the some sort of bubble graph and the tadpole. And for matrix, they they do cancel uh, together, so it's something very general, and it, it means that we can fix the, the, the to be bounded. Uh, 
what about the the flow or the whatever it is? So in uh, the case, uh, yeah, we we we, uh, we expect to be able to get uh, Omega equal to one. So in uh, the case, uh, uh, Omega being uh, omega. the parameter. Uh, some more questions? Yeah. Uh, about the, the, the Taylor BKR from that you have. The usual Taylor expansion, yeah. the, the Taylor expansions for bigger P contain sort of the terms for the Taylor expansion for smaller yeah. P. It is also the case here for this formula? Yeah, we have the yeah. Yeah, it's a bit hidden here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but. In, uh, and yeah, you it's get a bit um, hidden Yeah, but. Some sort of uh, like bound, as you get p, p larger and larger, you get some bound on the remainder? Or some sort of uh, like bound, as you get p, p larger and larger, you get some bound on the remainder? Or? Actually, we've not been shooting this because we expect to use it for p fixed and small. Actually, we have mm, contributions that are convergent if we have more than, for instance, uh, five huh. external uh, mm, points. And so we expect to, to, to want to create a, a Taylor expansion of order of four, for instance, to, to make that there are four links between uh, high uh, slices and low slices. So large we don't be uh, thinking about the uh, large P. Uh, 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 it can be. Uh, uh, for uh, the file six, so it can be uh, uh, for uh, the file. We stick to five board theory uh, for simplicity. Okay. Uh, we stick to five board. Theory. Okay, so uh, if there are not any more questions, so let's sign the speakers. Yeah.